Hey guys and welcome to another speed build. I think it's been a little while since the last one. I just feel like I got totally distracted. Yeah, we're nearly at like a week and a half, 10 days since the last one, so sorry. It's meant to be like once a week minimum. Um, but yeah, so I'm back and wait, wait for it. I'm CC free again. This is the third build in a row without any CC. I don't know what's taken, what, I don't know, something's taken a hold of me and we've gotten CC free again. But actually my CC free build seemed to get a good reaction from you guys. A lot of you don't actually use CC and you kind of normally just watch me just for entertainment, I suppose. And then, um, but now you actually get to use the build. So this is up on the gallery now. It is called um, the Thornbury. Yeah, it's on um, my page. My origin ID is hey underscore Harry. So you can find it there. CC free, as I said. So yeah, um, it does include like lots of all the different packs. I didn't limit myself on the packs that I was using or anything because you know, if I have to go CC free, don't limit me, okay? I can't do it. I can't do those limited builds, as I've said before. It's just, it's, it's not within my makeup. Maybe one day, do you know what I would like to do? I'd like to do a base game build, I think. Um, Just because I never think about, I suppose it's bad, I don't really think about the people that don't have all the packs and I have all the packs, every single one. I'll get to how I have every single one in a second. Um, but my nephew only has the packs I bought him. So I think I bought him like the expansion packs and a couple of the game packs. Some things in like bundles or something. So I think he probably maybe only has five packs. And when you go to download stuff on the gallery and then like all of it's missing, it's kind of a bit disheartening, isn't it? So um, let me know if you'd like the idea of a base game build. Why did I just give you the option to torture me? I'm not too sure, but oh well, yeah, I did. So this um, house is based off a house plan. Yeah, it definitely is. And I saw it and I wanted to recreate it. The inside is not the same. Whenever I say I've based it off a house plan, it's normally that the inside is nothing like the house plan. I'm just using it for the outside as inspiration. Also, I don't think there even was a back to the house. Uh, there was no uh, image of it or anything, so I just made this completely up. Um, and I've done a glass roof, so we're loving it. There is no lag on the wallpaper. There was for some reason some in my past no, not my past build. I was building something. I think it was this actually, and there was some lag for some reason on the wallpaper. Um, but then my next house that I built after this, which I have actually already built the next house that's gonna be up on the channel, um, there was no lag. So I'm not too sure what's going on right now, but um, the patches have improved the lag. There isn't so much lag, but we've still got a little bit of the ways to go. Um, so yeah, how have you guys been? Um, I've been back from Wimbledon for like, what, 10 days? It must be 10 days. And it's kind of like a shock to the system. This week I was back at work. When I say back at work, I actually work from home. So I know I'm lucky. Um, but yeah, actually back working and boy, have I been tired. I've got into this bad habit of like staying up till stupid o'clock in the morning and then expecting myself to get up and start work at 8 30 so um, that doesn't really work you know um but i have been playing oh we we'll tell about the new game i've been playing it's called um the darwin project it's basically like hunger games but on your pc so it's free to download on steam if you go and um look at it it's it does the style of it kind of reminds me of Fortnite a little bit even that this was actually in development apparently before Fortnite was a thing so they're kind of the originals basically 
you go and you have to survive you have to go and like chop down trees to get wood um there's like couches out there that you um harvest from to get leather and you can make all these different things like faster boots to run through. it's all in the snow so you're like surviving there and i haven't played it with strangers but i've played it with friends um and it's so much fun so it's free to download so i advise it i recommend it a lot i've been playing that and i've been playing house flipper as well a lot um you guys might have seen there's a few other simmers i think on youtube putting up house flipper videos definitely a lot streaming it um i don't know if i'm gonna bring that to youtube i'm not too sure I don't know I, I don't know how I would edit the videos uh, it feels weird it yeah it would be weird to be a speed build, speed build it should be like a chatty thing I don't know I think I'll keep that to my streams anyway yeah I am on twitch um these days most days well actually I no I had like a whole month off of twitch because I did go to Wimbledon and then like the week before I needed to do loads of stuff and then the week after I basically was recovering from Wimbledon so um, starting from well I'm putting this video out on Sunday so starting from tomorrow I'll be back on Twitch um, I'm gonna change my schedule and go Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays and I think Saturday's stream is going to be a longer stream than the weekday ones or it might even be a later start one um, just for and other parts of the world to be able to find me because you know time zones are a beep that's all I can say <laughs> it's really bad when I have like loads of friends um, and viewers and everything in America and you are a minimum of like five hours behind me and I want to play games with you and then and then it's actually my time to go to bed and you're still enjoying your, your day and it's like oh, it kind of sucks but you know uh, time zones are yeah so that's what I'm aiming to do on Twitch um, here on YouTube I have plans I'll I am planning a tutorial series it's kind of gonna be a let's play fly on the wall thing I think I might have mentioned this in my last build actually oh my god yeah I had my birthday the other day and now I'm the grand old age of 32 obviously my memory's completely gone because that's what happens when you turn 32 your memory goes um but <laughs> no i never remember what the hell i say in these videos like literally i just black out and speak for 20 something minutes this time 28 minutes you, you tend to say a lot in 28 minutes and you don't remember anything um but yeah i kind of fly on the wall thing uh, starting f at the very beginning when I have no concept all the way to concept through building window placement windows wallpaper furnishing everything to do with building including landscaping I know I've got requests for like landscaping tutorials before so I'm definitely doing that in this series so a whole focus on landscaping most definitely I'll be doing it and like explaining how I do it a little bit so I probably shouldn't say it in this video because I'd like to have it all in one video so that I can always link back to it if you get what I mean but yeah landscaping for this one pretty, pretty, mm, I don't know if it's my usual landscaping um, but yeah when I am doing landscaping I tend to like curved lines if you know what I mean I'm kind of softening up the build um, as I always say without landscaping you cannot have a great house I believe wholeheartedly that landscaping is the key to your builds looking great if you don't have good landscaping you can't have a great house um, this house without landscaping it's an okay house with landscaping amazing it just takes your build to like a whole new level I, I don't know what yeah just if this just had like the two pathways and the house 
it, I don't think he would have even clicked on the thumbnail to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, we're moving on to the back garden. This one I actually really enjoyed doing this whole kind of um, deck and then steps down. And I've used those, um, I think they're meant to be part of the ruins for get together, those kind of little finishing off things. I've used those everywhere to just divide the areas because sometimes you just need a slight little bit of detail to like blend where the join between two different surfaces is. Um, so I've used that. I've actually used that on my next build. My next build is CC free as well, but it's completely different to this one. Um, it is like another family home. I'm trying to do family homes at the moment just because I normally absolutely hate doing kids' bedrooms and I'm just trying to challenge myself to be quite honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, but that that's what I'm aiming to do and can I just say um, I used to absolutely be terrified of using those stepping stones, those circular ones, from get together. I loved them and whenever I saw people using them I was so jealous of their skills and I've just, from watching other people and seeing how they use them, I've actually finally got the hang of those stupid little things. Um, I always used to think of my bills they look really weird, kind of trying to mix round stepping stones with like regular paving and stuff would always kind of look weird to me um but the way i've put like the terrain paint underneath and then also put the dirt under each stone and done different sizes and i'm i'm really really like really like the way it looks um and i'm proud of it like from above if you look from above I really like the way that the landscaping looks and how the curves go with the more square edges and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really actually very proud of my stepping stones. Sounds really weird, but you know, we, we've all got to have goals in life. <laughs> One for me was using those stepping stones with confidence and we've finally got there. But yeah. I do like it and um, the deck with I I put planting down there I I cut that bit out because we we're about to move into the inside but I really like this deck area and I I've done something similar in my next build I've done a deck but I'm, I don't know I've got a slight fascination with decks at the moment you know I'm I go from phase to phase in my builds you can see them you'll be like ah oh, Sam was in this phase also all of my trademarks are not in this. Yeah, normally I'll have like wheat grass in the kitchen. Did not do it. But can we just just take a moment to appreciate the lighting in this dining room? It is just spectacular. Um, I know I bleat on about reshading and all this stuff, um, but I think people are getting the wrong impression. I see a lot of tweets on Twitter about reshade and how people don't want to use it because it changes the sims lighting it doesn't actually change the lighting um it's not a lighting engine it's this so this is you know just a tweaked basically we shade is like photoshop for the sims it's just putting filters on top of your screen that's all it does is just filter it so it changes the way you see them so it's not going to change anything to do with how the light comes through the window that is not what reshade does it is just basically filters to put over um so i am a big advocate of reshade people have been trying to come for my reshade and i've been like hell no do not come for my reshade pew, 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 pew. <laughs> um, but um how many of you do actually use reshade just interested i know a lot of some people are like oh their computer can't handle reshade um funny enough my, my old imac could actually handle it i i don't know if i went to bo go and play the sims on my old imac i might get a rude awakening to how like choppy it actually was because now that i'm on my new snazzy um setup pc yeah, uh, there's no going back. Also, I got dual monitors, dual 4K monitors. I didn't realise how crazy I was at the time, but oh my god. I, I can't ever go back 
Um, streaming as well is great with them. You just got like everything up on screen. It's so easy. It's oh, that and like now when I was building this house, I was also watching Twitch on my other screen, which is just like, yeah. And The Sims is such a well optimized game that my computer can handle playing The Sims and also watching a like 1080p stream, which I know is is actually quite taxing because it's downloading the information like constantly and all that kind of stuff rather than you know like um, a YouTube video you have kind of got a set amount of data but a stream you're constantly constantly downloading stuff so um, I know that when I play house flipper um, my twi my computer cannot handle being on twitch as well at the same time it it does it but it's like super choppy so I just kind of listen to Twitch rather than <coughs> watch it if I'm playing House Flipper. <coughs> but I've been doing loads of that recently. That's anything to do with houses. I'm there. Uh, so I've been doing that and I've got, I've upgraded quite a bit. I'm quite far along. I've actually like flipped a house. I think I've, am I still on the next house? No, I flipped two houses now. Um, when I go back I'll flip another house and you basically get like jobs to do in other people's houses and then that earns you enough money to buy your own houses to flip um, so if you are looking for something that's I don't know to do with interiors and stuff would recommend house flipper as well just be warned when you first get it and you start playing it is kind of slow moving if you get what I mean because like you need to level up to paint faster and to like clean faster and all that stuff so it can be a little bit I don't know boring but labor intensive I'd call it at the beginning but again love the game also what else am I playing right now let's talk about games um dead by daylight I'm gonna get good at this game I tell you I'm gonna get good I'm gonna get good um but yeah I love that game kind of great because I can't play the killer though if you don't know like Dead by Daylight you're basically four of you are trying to survive and get out of this I don't know what it is this we'll call it a playground um you're trying to get out by fixing generators to open up an exit gate and survive and there's one person trying to kill you and let me just tell you they are ugly looking killers there yeah you would not want to see them on a dark night. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, it's, I play it with friends, but I can't play the killer because I get motion sickness from being in first person view. Also house flipper is first person view, but I kind of don't have to turn and move so much. So I'm not, I'm not too bad on that, but I do feel a little bit nauseous with it, but I kind of push on through with that one. But Dead by Daylight, no, because you're the killer and you have to be alert and you're looking around constantly. I just I just get motion sickness and I can't do it. So I always play the killer like the last game we're going to play as a group, I'll play killer. That's why I'm awful at it, because I never play it because I can't because it makes me feel sick. <laughs> but anyway, um, should I get back to the build? I suppose I should. Um, we've got downstairs. We've actually got quite a small kitchen you would have seen. It is kind of small for it. You could kind of push it back and extend it into the garage. But I've put a garage. I'm hoping one day we're going to be able to update it. I don't care if it's cars like The Sims 2. I, th I would just like cars, please. Please. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, that is on the wish list. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. I just want to be able to have a garage. I actually, what I actually want more than cars, believe it or not, is just garage doors. If you could just patch in garage doors, just so I can finish off my houses and they look cute, as opposed to doing like beams on the outside and putting a different type of wood and windows in. All I want to do is have realistic houses. Uh, I'm so simple, so simple. I just want a garage door. You don't even have to give me cars. I'll size up the toy ones. <laughs> just give me garage doors. <laughs> I don't even have CC for garage doors, actually, which is kind of shocking on me. Yeah, 
and I just suppose I just never bothered. I think all the ones I saw I didn't like. So I was like, Yeesh, yikes. I'll just I'll just wait till it's in game. Thanks, Kay. Um but yeah, I'm really Oh, there is a live talking to Sims, there is a live stream for the Sims this Tuesday. I'm pretty it must be the standard time they normally have them. They're normally at 7 pm uh, British summertime, they're normally that. I think that equals 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. What is it when it's summertime in Pacific time? Because it's PDT, but I don't know what that stands for. Pacific daytime? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> BST is British summertime, so yeah. It's normally at 7, which is 11 on the west coast, and what's that? 2 on the east coast. So there's a live stream for The Sims, and it's for a patch that is getting released on Tuesday, which is the what? Tuesday the 31st? Oh no, I've just realised that I've arranged to go and meet people. No! Why do I always have to double book myself when I'm trying to be social? <gasps> oh, I just realised I've organised to meet up. Oh, I'll have to watch the, the... No, I'll be back in time. I'll be back in time. I'm going out during the day. I'll be back in time for um, the live stream. So yeah, I'll be there. Feel free to come and say hey. Um, I did do a viewing party once for the... What was it? jungle adventures pack we did a viewing party on my um twitch channel because the sim streams can be kind of crazy with the amount of people that are in chat um so i did like a cute little viewing party but i don't think this one's gonna be so busy it's just for a game update we don't know what it is uh, if you've seen Simgur Kate like did a whole list of everything it's not going to be which i found pretty damn hilarious <laughs> It's like, it's not going to be this, not going to be that, it's not cars, it's not this, it's not that. It's like, what the hell could it be? Um, so they're updating the game, it's going to add a feature. We don't know what it is. I'm excited. I, what did I say I thought it was to TJ? TJ is Gavin Sims, by the way. Um, what did I say? I can't remember what I thought it was. Oh my god, it's my age memory hasn't really gone no I can't remember what I thought what was I guessing no it's a game update but it's more it's more of an update than the usual patch so they're saying it's more than just the regular patch so like for example they did do a patch one where they added toddlers so you know can you imagine if they added pre-teens or that I would, mm, I would like an extra, yeah, I would like an extra like preteen age group, but I doubt they're adding that because they said don't get too hyped, so it m must not be a huge update, but it's bigger than usual. But um, also, I think basically Simgu Kate said they're changing the way that they interact with the community, so I think this is kind of what they're going to do on the regular they're going to do more streams not just for packs that they're releasing but also for updates i think that's the whole strategy moving forward um so i i just think this is the first of many live streams they're going to be doing for patches and i think they're probably going to do live streams just for like no reason and just you know just to say hey and communicate and play the game i think i think that's what their plans are i think don't quote me on it okay um but yes what i was actually going to do at the beginning of this video was l chuckle myself but also maybe make you laugh is <laughs> i was going to do a disclaimer to say that this build contains my first pet stuff pack items uh just to warn you i have and now have every single pack available for the sims 4 it's all in my game i've got it all i have to say i'm kind of liking the items now that they're in my my game so i said before i was not spending my money on that pack <laughs> nope was not gonna happen um i just didn't think it was worth my money personally i didn't 
really need any of the items um but you know some people apparently it didn't tank so people bought it as well um but i decided that i was going to enter every giveaway possible to win the i win the pack um so that's what i did uh, so thank you very much chloe sims i won chloe sims 4k build challenge and that was my prize i was like the only thing that i need to complete my collection is my first pet stuff pack that's what i'm getting so i did it it's in there i am actually liking the content like for kids room i think it's a like great kind of add on to of course it is an add on to the cats and dogs kids stuff that came with it the whole like rounded they're kind of a bit clunky but they're a whole rounded side tables dresser they all match it, it just looked good and i also added in a hamster in here so if you don't have the pack um you won't have like actually the only thing you won't have is probably the activity table and the desk in the kids room plus the rug or something like that and the hamster i think that's about it um everything else is not from there uh I'll, i'm a kind of yeah i haven't looked at any of the other stuff i haven't actually looked at the cast items that came with the pack um because it was kind of animal outfits and i don't use those on my animals but this is a teenager's room so you've got a nursery for a toddler you've got a teenager's room and you've got a room for a girl all loads of bathrooms and everything so thank you so so much for watching i'll be back very soon with my next build um, if you liked what you see, uh, hit the like button. If you haven't done already, feel free to subscribe. It is completely 100% free. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>